Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on bradycardia. Bradycardia is a term used to describe a heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute. It is more commonly associated with myocardial infarction, sinus node disease, drugs like beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and amiodarone. Hypothyroidism, a V-nodal disease, heart block, degeneration and aging of the heart. Other less common causes are cellular hypoxia, myocarditis, electrolyte imbalances, inflammatory disease like SLE, obstructive sleep apnea, hemochromatosis, and congenital defect. The individual mechanisms for each underlying cause of bradycardia are numerous. In terms of a final common pathway, bradycardia is caused by, an interruption to, or blocking of the conduction of electrical impulses in the heart, or an increase in vagal tone to the heart. The disturbance can be present at the SA node, AV node, bundle of his or left or right bundle branches. Let's look at the mechanism for each cause. For myocardial infarction, it may cause heart block, particularly if the right coronary artery, which feeds the AV and SA nodes in the majority of people is occluded. Failure to deliver blood to the nodes causes ischemia, and thus, SA and AV node dysfunction. In cellular hypoxia, decrease in oxygen from any cause, can cause depolarization of the SA node membrane potential, causing bradycardia. Severe hypoxia completely stops pacemaker activity. In sinus node disease, damage to or degeneration of the sinus node leads to a number of problems, such as discharging at an irregular rate, or pauses or discharges with subsequent blockage. All of these irregularities may cause bradycardia. For heart block, damage or disruption at the atria, AV node, bundle of his, or in the bundle branches, may slow conduction around the heart and cause heart block, in electrolyte imbalance. Potassium, in particular, influences the membrane activity of cardiac myocytes, as well as the SA and AV nodes. Significant variations in potassium concentration will affect membrane polarization and heart rate. Bradycardia is more associated with hyperkalemia than hypokalemia, although it may be present with either. Next for hemochromatosis. Iron infiltration that damages both the myocytes and conduction system of the heart has been shown to cause bradycardia. Some drugs may also cause bradycardia. Calcium channel blockers. Inhibit the slow inward calcium ion currents during SA node action potentials. Beta blockers and muscarinics. Act directly at the autonomic receptors, blocking sympathetic activity or enhancing parasympathetic activity. And digoxin. Enhances vagal tone to the AV node, slowing the heart rate for its sign value. With so many potential causes of bradycardia, the specificity of the sign for a given disease is low. However, if noted in a patient who should otherwise have a normal heart rate, it warrants immediate attention. That's all for this video. Thank you.